Hey guys, what's up? So, I'd like to give you a status update on the laser cutter engraver build. I had a few people ask me, like, what's going on with this thing. So, I changed the design uh, from this, which you originally saw in the first video, with the 2020 rail. I went to this design right here. So, I'll put a link where you can get this, but this is definitely, a, I think, a much better design here. Um, let me show you real quick what it looks like. So, those cable chains. Um, yeah, take a look at that. It has an adjustable laser mount right there. It's a double motor design like the other one. Double uh, or a Y. So you have a thing on each side. Yeah, it's a little bit, little, uh, still working on some of the cable chain stuff, but that will get more stable once the wires are in there. And then uh, there's a motor back here for the X. And this little black thing, I actually I powder coated everything. So if you're wondering how I powder coat, I made a video about it a couple years ago with my Harbor Freight powder coater. But yeah, it's all black wrinkle powder coated. So this is actually steel, and it's not 2020 rail. So it's I wanted actually something heavier than aluminum, so it actually would it'd be a lot more stable on the actual uh, on the bench. So definitely add this, having steel adds about probably five to ten pounds to this thing. I don't know it's definitely. Not light, so um, so all the mechanical stuff is down now. Uh, so now I got to worry about the electrical stuff. You know, mounting the box, the electrical box. And if you're wondering, I originally had made a video about my uh, MKS Janelle board. I basically took an old 3D printer board and I put uh, Gerbil firmware on it. It actually worked too. So and they MKS had come out with a Gerbil firmware for the TFT32, which I made a video about. So I gotta probably change a different mount for the uh, LCD controller. Gotta make sure it doesn't interfere with the laser because the laser is gonna probably come out to about right here. So maybe I put that there. Uh, yeah, because the laser, I'm gonna get a 20 milliwatt or 20 watt uh, laser, you know, laser diode. So you gotta make sure that it's not gonna interfere with that. Might have to put it in the back, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I gotta put some end stops on there too. There's a, this thing is really well thought out. So actually the end stops might be in the back, so I gotta figure that out. So I need, all of a sudden you need to have an end stop here, end stop for the Z is gonna hit up, so I'll have the end stop right there. And then I can't remember the other end stop is. I think it's in the front that I thought. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what size is gonna be the zero, you know, X, Y, zero. All right, but they, cool. I mean, this is this guy. It's that the whole thing was done in, in Russian, though, so I had to translate it, and it's kind of I just had to look at it and try to figure it out. So, yeah, that's the next step is the electronics. So all the all the mechanicals done, belts, motors, you know, cable chains are done. It's a matter of getting the wiring done now, and the, I already have the firmware on here. So once I get the all the thing wired up, we'll get it going. Throw some uh test laser I guess lasering all right cool fun project so far you know yeah I'm really busy at work so I haven't had a lot of chance to work on this thing so we're working on it a few hours a week all right cool